because we want to make sure the factions feel correct, all the races belong to where they, they're supposed to be, like all the realms have very specific characteristics about them to make sure they all fits within the God of War universe. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. In the God of War 2018, we saw Brock and Sindri, and that was the tip of the iceberg of the Holdra. And in God of War Ragnarok, we actually get to go and visit Svartalhan, where they're from. And a great part of that, too, is we want to make sure that we expand the cast. You know, we would just seen a little bit of, of what was represented, and that was something that we hadn't seen, that both the environments and characters had a cohesiveness that felt like every inch of it felt like it went together and was designed specifically by them. And again, that's something that we haven't seen in a, some of the other realms and is unique to these characters and their location. And the hope, it all goes together and creates a feeling within a realm that you're excited to see, feels unique, and really creates that sense of wonder where you want to go back. When designing a character to match the geography around it, uh, first, it's definitely dictated by the Viz Dev team and the narrative team and the story team. They make sure the character is designed for features that fit in with what they need. When designing the grid, we'll see them when they stand out for the combat experiences with the character. Okay. Through the level, you find out a lot more about this race and the political situation that is happening while Ragnarok and Fimble Winter is taking place. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're uh, running away. One thing that our hope is with the cast of characters within every realm is not that it's just enemies there to kill you. We want to feel believable and that there's a wide world out there, but we want to kind of plant these seeds within any cast of the realm that there's more outside of what you're playing. And we want the fans to feel like they can go back and really visit those areas and want to go explore. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. Going into Svarheim, I'm really excited for players to experience all the new races that live in that realm, how they play. They play very different from anything we had before. There's uh, wildlife, it's something that kind of goes unnoticed, but we took a lot of effort to make the realm feel believable. So there's a lot in Svarheim, a lot to explore. I'm really excited for Svarheim. It is a gorgeous realm. After looking through some of the cinematics and playing some of the cinematics and playing through some of the puzzles, I'm so excited how water plays such a big feature in that realm, and that is so cool. I'm most excited for fans to finally get to see how the dwarves live. Brock and Sindri were fan favorites in the last game, so I think that all the work that we've put into Svarlheim is going to make all the other dwarves shine. Just to make sure we do right by the fans and knowing that all the work we put in will be seen and appreciated, that's not always the case, but our fans just get every little nook and cranny on that. And we love that and we packed a lot of that in for this new cast and we hope you guys get the same feeling with God of War Ragnarok. Yeah!